Okay, so this quest started immediately after teleporting. Um, I thought I could do an intro before, but well, let's just do it now. Um, <laughs> come to another Genshin Impact video. Today, I am playing in version of Genesis on my alt account, finally, and that is, uh, if you've already played it, you know, it's the quest um, where we actually get to name the Wanderer. On my main account, that was whatever, I just, I don't even remember which name I gave him there, because I don't have him on my main account, but here on my ult it's kind of a big deal, because I actually do have Wanderer here, and use him a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna play through this, and then finally give him a name, and actually I let my viewers decide the name. Yesterday I created a poll on my community tab, with five names, based on five different characters from anime and games, that I like and that I think their names could fit Wanderer, and then basically I just let my viewers vote on them. And yeah, before I actually play the quest, I'm just gonna go over the five options really quick, and then I'm gonna reveal the results at the end when I actually get to name my Wanderer. So yeah, like I already said, um, all these names are based on uh, characters from um, other franchises, not Genshin. And the first one is Grima, based on the fell dragon Grima from Fire Emblem Awakening, um, who's a really cool antagonist in my opinion, kind of the generic evil dragon in a way, but also a, a, just really cool and menacing. He's like the, this really big demonic dragon, and the name Grima also just sounds pretty cool, and kind of fits Wonder in my opinion. Even though, I gotta admit, as a Lord of the Rings fan, I also kind of associate this name with uh, Grima Warmtongue, which is a much less flattering namesake than a big evil dragon, but, well, whatever. Grima is still a cool name. So yeah, that was the first option. And then the second option in the poll was actually Yuta, um, which is from Yuta Okotsu from Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, yeah, very popular anime currently. You may have heard of it. I personally also really like Jujutsu Kaisen and Yuta is like one of my favorite characters there. And yeah, I thought that the name Yuta could also fit Wanderer. And then for the third option, we have Bradley, which comes from Full Metal Alchemist, actually, from the character King Bradley, um, also known as the Homunculus Wrath which is kind of a spoiler, but it's a really old anime that a lot of people know, so I think it's fine to say that, <laughs> that he's an homunculus. But anyway, Bradley, pretty cool name, it's a pretty cool character, so maybe that's gonna be my wondrous name. And then for option number four, I chose um, the Pretender class servant Oberon from Fate Grand Order, Fate being one of my favorite franchises ever, and I'm also kind of a Fate Grand Order content creator, even though nowadays I make mainly Genshin content, I still occasionally make FGO videos. So I thought it would be fitting to have a character from Fate as an option here, or at least the name, you know, it's more about the names, not about um, the characters themselves. And Oberon, I think, is a pretty fitting name for Wanderer. And then last but not least, for the fifth option, I chose Shine, um, based on Shine Nozen from 86. A very underrated anime, I don't see a lot of people talking about it, which is kind of sad because it's great. And yeah, Shinei Nozen is one of the main characters of that anime, and he is also great, and Shinei is just a cool name. So yeah, those were the five options that my viewers could vote on, and yeah, now I'm just gonna play through the quest, and then at the end reveal which name actually won the poll. But yeah, I'm actually not gonna show the entire quest, because then the video would be like over an hour long, and I've already played this quest, so there's not gonna be much of a reaction from me to like the reveals and stuff, and all the things happening. Um, since I've already been through this on my main account. But yeah, let's go. There we go, quest officially started, and now I think we just... Oh, we first have to talk to the scholars, I thought we have to go to Nahida in the Sanctuary of Surastana, but no, we have to talk to these guys first. Okay, now they're finally done talking, and I think now we have to go to Nahida in the Sanctuary. And there he is. This Garamush at this point, but he's gonna be Wanderer soon. There's a Nahida down there, and there's a Nahida up there. Two Nahidas? How is that possible? This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. Okay, so basically Nahida and Scaramouche have made a pact. Scaramouche is gonna help her search for information in Ermansul. Information about the Traveler's sibling. But of course, Scaramouche is gonna try and use the access to Ermansu that he's got now for his own gain. Okay, but now we are actually inside Ermansu. 
You know what this kind of reminds me of? The world between worlds in Star Wars, like with the paths there at the ground, on the ground. It's more blue than the world between worlds, sort of like black and white, but it is kind of similar. Well, except for that big ass tree there. Yeah, I mean, look at this. It's path. I mean, it, well, first of all, it's beautiful. I love the design of this place. But if you just, you know, take away the blue color, then it really does look like world between worlds. At least a little bit. You know, obviously there's still some differences, but it's similar. Let me ask you a question, Scaramouche. What do you think about the name Grima? No comment? Okay, what do you think about the name Yuta? Okay, okay. What do you think about the name Bradley? I don't think he likes any of these names. Oh yeah, this flashback. I almost forgot about this. But it's kinda important because... Here we find out what really happened to Skaramu's friend, Neva. And that the doctor was behind it all. Oh my god, he's actually the doctor. Who would have seen that coming? Gasp! Yeah, like I said, there's not gonna be much of an actual reaction from me since I already know everything that's gonna happen here. Um, which is why I'm probably from this point on really just gonna fast forward through the quest and jump to the important part, which is naming Wanderer. So yeah, see you in a few seconds. At least for you it's gonna be a few seconds. For me it's gonna be much longer, of course. And there he is. The Wanderer. He's so nice in this form and it doesn't fit him at all. I, I'm i sorry, I just can't imagine him with this nice attitude. It just feels so wrong. But he's gonna get back his memories soon. Then he's gonna be mean again. And now he's getting his memories back. There we go. Cutscenes in Genshin are always so beautiful. Raiden! Of Raiden. One of my favorite characters, actually. And this guy. In my opinion, one of the most boring bosses. I don't like this guy. Out of all the weekly bosses, probably my least favorite. Because, like, the second phase is just. You just have to wait. Um, for the little dental thingy that Nahida gave you to destroy his shield. I mean, you can kind of collect these crystals and um, then shoot at him yourself, but still, your characters can't really do anything until you get rid of the shield, which takes, like, ages. It's just artificially dragged out. But yeah, it doesn't change the fact this, this, that this cutscene is amazing, as all the cutscenes in Genshin. And suddenly, a Nemo vision. <laughs> He's so edgy. But that's not a bad thing, actually. We need characters like him, because we have so many friendly characters that I actually love that um, we have a character like him who is just really mean and edgy. But yeah, let's do this. Oh, look at this damage. It's only like half of what my own Wanderer does. How is this Wanderer actually built? Let's see. Level 90, 2000 attack is actually not bad. Good rate, crit damage. Also not bad. Crit damage could be a little bit higher, but um, yeah, I'm not sure if my Wanderer is actually better in that regard. Um, weapon. His signature weapon. So yeah, actually he's not really bad, so what's... Okay, D yeah. Okay, that that's why he's doing no damage. No bless. Of course. They always do this. They build every single character doing their trials with no bless. I don't know why. Why is Mihoyo doing this? Why it's always no bless? Um, yeah, actually I can take a look at my own Wanderer here. So let's see, yeah, mine doesn't have 2k attack, not quite. But he does have better crit rate and crit damage. <laughs> so, yeah. And he does have the right set. But doesn't have a signature weapon. Just a black cliff gate. But yeah, my wonder is actually doing more damage than this one. And I'm pretty sure it's because of the set. 
Actually, which constellation? He's C3? Wait a minute. Five ceremonial thingies. Okay, that's the burst. Yeah, so they just went full burst. They were like, yeah, let's give him C3 and give him no bless and just make him do a lot of burst damage. Well, uh, sorry to break it to you, Mihoyo, but um, his skill is more important than his burst and his normal attacks too. So, yeah, you focused on the worst part of his kit. Okay, there we go. Finally done. Seriously, why do they always build tri characters with noblesse? I really don't get it. Why do they love noblesse so much? But whatever, let's just skip to naming him now. Okay, there we go. And actually, give him a name now. But the question is, <laughs> which name is it gonna be? So, let's take a look at the poll. Right now, at the time of this recording, the name in the lead is <laughs> actually two names. It's Grima and Oberon. Okay, that's interesting. I did not expect that. Honestly, I was kind of expecting it to be between Yuta and Bradley. Um, for the simple reason that uh, Full Metal Alchemist is still extremely popular even years later. And uh, Chuchutsu Kaisen is like the most popular shonen right now. Together with Demon Slayer, I guess, um, but Demon Slayer was not in the list. And even though I wrote on the community post that it's about the names and not about uh, which characters you like the most, um, I was still kind of expecting people to vote for the characters. But maybe people just loved Rima from Fire Emblem Awakening. Or they voted for this name because of Lord of the Rings, I don't know. And Oberon, maybe I should have expected it too, um, because I am kind of a Fate Grand Order content creator as well, not just Genshin, like I already said in the beginning of the video. And yeah, Oberon is a pretty popular character from Fate Grand Order, and some of my viewers are probably Fate Grand Order players, so maybe I should have expected that. But yeah, the thing is, um, two names won. So, which one do I choose now? I guess we'll just uh, have to toss a coin. Yeah, you know what, I'm actually gonna just go on Google and do that Google coin flip thingy that they have there. And let that decide. Okay, so I've opened it on my browser, so let's switch over there real quick. And yeah, let's go. Um, heads, I'd say, is Grima, and Tails is Oberon. And it's Heads. Okay, Grima. Okay, so my wondrous name is actually gonna be Grima, based on the Fell Dragon from Fire Emblem Awakening. I am A-okay with that. Yeah, let's just type it in here. And confirm. There we go. Yes, I am sure. Yeah, now actually says Grima here. And the quest is done now, right? Alright, we still have to talk to these two guys before the quest actually ends. Who even cares about these two? Now there's still more stuff to do. I really thought the quest would just end after we give him a name. Um, well, anyway, let's just switch to my Wanderer team now. And yeah, it actually says Screamer now here. Oh, that is so cool. I mean, I have done this before on my main account, like I said, but I don't have him there, so I've never actually seen him have a unique name in the team preview, and now here on the right. He's just been Wanderer for so long on this account, and now he finally has a name. I wanna go fight something with him. Um, though, for an Abyss run, I think uh, the video's already too long if I... <laughs> Go in the abyss now, then it's gonna be like over 20 minutes just for a simple wanderer renaming video. I think that's a bit too long. Um, so let's just go to Masanori. I mean, my wanderer is basically, together with Ayaka, my most well built DPS on this account. So I expect this to be a very fast clear, but yeah, let's see how fast actually. Okay, first HP bar is already gone. Come on, reset. First right away. And there we go. Done. Wait, I got an achievement for that. So I got a bunch from the quest, um, but it's the... Oh yeah, defeat Masanori with ease. So maybe that's uh, defeating him in less than, I don't know, how long was it? Less than 30 seconds, maybe? What does with ease mean exactly? Come on, game, tell me. 
Oh, right. That's why the quest wasn't over yet. There was this part of the mysterious voice. Right, I completely forgot about that. I think this is someone from the Hexen Circle. Anyway, now the quest is done. That's inversion of Genesis. Finally done. And yeah, I've also done Carry Bear not too long ago. So now I can finally go to Fontaine on my alt account with a named Wanderer. With Dreamer, I should call him now, not Wanderer. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. Also tell me what you named your Wanderer. And yeah, have a nice day.